So just a bit of an update for you guys. And that's that um, due to some extreme generosity from someone uh, that is close to me, uh, I've been able to get the money together to get the ALF device um, uh, made and, and put in. And so I'm gonna be doing the mold tomorrow uh, where they, you know, get your teeth. I assume I'm gonna have to bite into this thing and it's gonna get the mold. And then it's gonna take three or four weeks to, to make and get back to me and then I'll be wearing it. Um, I actually have a 25th birthday party um, scheduled on that same week, like my own party. So it'll be interesting to see if that device is going to, you know, affect, I don't know, my speech or like, is it going to be really painful? It'll be interesting to see that. Hopefully not. Um, but anyway, so, so yeah, that, and what that device can do is it's going to expand the hard palate outwards. It's going to um, mean your uh, bite is better, it's going to improve your jaw, uh, your nasal breathing at night, allegedly all these things. It's also going to um, train the tongue to set the roof of the mouth. Cause it's like, and as I kind of mentioned this in the video yesterday, but um, it's like you're mewing 24-7. That's apparently what it feels like. So yes, I'm going to be getting that mold done tomorrow and hopefully get it fitted soon, which is which is really exciting. And uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, acid reflux. So I am definitely still in a situation where, where my throat's getting irritated. I think the other day, because I was singing really, really well last week um, for, a few, or a few, for a few days at least, um, and I was talking about that at the time, uh, but then I think it might have been because I spilt some eucalyptus oil like quite a lot in my room. I clean, cleaned it up, but probably not well enough because then overnight I was sleeping in that same room. And um, yeah, in the morning I, my cores were not wanting to come together at all. So I think it's because of inhaling that by, you know, by accident, I guess. Um, and as some of you may know, I can do things a little bit to the extreme. So when it actually happened, if anything, I was thinking, Oh, that's kind of good because I get more eucalyptus oil that I can inhale, like, and that's that's not a good idea. So, um, my vo my opera singer vocal coach was also saying, um, I don't do opera, but like, she's technically really really good. Um, but she was saying that Joan Sutherland, who's this really really famous opera singer, um, back in the day, she apparently inhaled way too much methanol, um, over many many years, and that and eventually led to her retirement, apparently. I don't know if that's actually true or verified. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find anything on it. But that's what my opera coach, uh, opera vocal coach was saying, and she seems to be very, very well informed on many things. Um, but yeah, the reason why I'm talking about acid reflux is because still every morning, even though, you know, I've had the tongue operation, you know, I've had the fixed retainers removed, for two operations on my nose, I do all the dieting. I don't have alcohol, don't have coffee, exercise all the time. I still get a really, really dry throat every morning. And I always have that feeling of something stuck here. And then it's always, well, not necessarily stuck here, but like always something like there. It did improve in the day of the tongue surgery that I had recently. Um, but since then, when the swelling has started happening on the tongue again, um, in the days after the surgery, uh, I'm definitely definitely getting refluxing again and not breathing well at night. And then it's probably a mix of post nasal drip and because I always get inflammation when I was another thing, um, and then a mix of like uh, reflux, right? Um, but I was uh, watching a video just now um, about pepsin and how with LPR, which is the silent reflux, uh, which is commonly what the singers have um is different to GERD and I already knew that um but what I wasn't totally aware of is that LPR which is when it's up here uh and that's uh, in your larynx that can affect your larynx is that that's caused by gas coming up from your stomach rather than actual liquid so previously I was always thinking oh you know um GERD and acid like GERD like acid reflux same thing um is uh, it's coming up from here, and I thought the only difference was, oh, well, you get heartburn with GERD, and with LPR, it's it's you don't get that. But that's not the only difference. The other difference is that, um, and I'm sure there's probably more differences, but as far as I'm aware, at this moment in time, is that, um, yeah, with LPR, sinus reflux, it's gas coming up, and with um, GERD, it's like the liquid coming up from your stomach. 
So, and, and the thing is, because I'm in a situation where the, the PPIs, you know, have kind of helped, but not not done nearly as much as, you know, they promise. So I'm not able to rely on it. Like, I know that some people where, you know, they have PPIs and their reflux is gone. It's not, it doesn't quite happen with me. It definitely goes down a little bit, but um, my throat is definitely still irritated. And that was confirmed by the voice specialist who I saw recently who stuck the camera down my uh, throat. Um, so, and I've, bear in mind, I've tried this before. But that was about a year ago, and I feel like I'm uh, a lot further past that. So I'm definitely going to try it again because I'm, I'm more in tune with what it feels like and what I can expect with, with the reflux. So this is a bottle um, of uh, water and uh, bicarbonate of soda or baking powder um, or baking soda in America. And um, this is just a spray bottle, right? So what you do is... It's meant to be alkaline water. I don't have any. I, I've already done all that stuff, but I'm prepared to try it again, I suppose. But yeah, it's just normal water and then um, baking soda mixed in or baking powder mixed in. Um, shake, uh, shake it around. And, and what this is meant to do, it's meant to kill pepsin, which is in your throat and in your sinuses. Um, and what that does is the gas comes up and then it's active, kind of activated by the pepsin in your throat and in your sinuses. So by spraying this, you're essentially trying to kill that pepsin um, so that it can't do that and it can't irritate your throat. So I'm gonna be doing this as a bit of an experiment because at the time I did it, you know, I was doing it in this a similar way to this, right? I was doing it and this is, as I said, this time kind of last year. So um, I was spraying it and then I was like, oh, well, that hasn't helped. So, you know, forget it. Um, but I'm going to try and do it for two weeks solidly whenever I feel it's like, you know, slightly sore or whatever. And I also have to be patient because you have to wait for the vocals to, you know, heal properly. So I'd have to use so much force to get them to close, which is what's always happening. Um, so, yeah. And also I'm going to stay away from eucalyptus. Um, at least not in serious amounts, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll uh, report back um, to you on that. But, yeah, that's just an update uh, for you guys.